Welcome to the Build Worlds. This is not a build video. This is the day after salute video. Uh, yes. Yesterday was salute 50 at the Excel in London and I had a stonkingly good day. It was fantastic. Um, didn't win any prizes, but I didn't go to win any prizes. Uh, I went with the guys from the Warbands of Anglia. B, B group, and we took my Bentley on table, and uh, I, actually I didn't roll a dice or even pick up a tape measure and angle all day. The guys ran games, uh, and it was bonkers. I couldn't even get near the gaming table, um, uh, and I made. I did have a chance, especially before the show, to get off and go and video some stuff. So what I've done is I've made a little bit of a vlog. How cool is that? Um, I went and videoed some things, talked to a couple of people. I didn't get a chance to talk to anybody yesterday because it was just absolutely mental. Um, so you have to check out what I filmed and then I'm going to have a little gas with you at the end. Um, before we start, I've got to say a massive thanks to the guys uh, from that I game with and I've been gaming with for the last year or so. Actually, some of them, in fairness, I've been gaming with Mike for 30 or plus years, but you know, all of them were brilliant. Uh, so with me was uh, Mike and his son Aaron and little Ted, who's his birthday today, happy birthday Ted, um, Harry and Gary uh, and John and uh, Alex as well. Great bunch of guys, um, all, <laughs> they were all prepared to wear Magathia Builder Worlds t-shirts, which is kind of like bonkers, uh, and they ran games across that table, uh, pretty much non-stop from about, I don't know, quarter past ten till about four o'clock. Uh, it was just insane. Um, so here is uh, what happened when Magathia Builder Worlds uh, went and had a look at some other people's games, mostly. Uh, um, salute 50 at the Excel on April the 22nd, 2023. We had a chat with a few people running games. We had a chat with Mr. Michael Lovejoy, who created Burrows and Badgers, uh, and it's his fault that we can't play it. Um, and stuff. I can't actually remember what my video, so this is going to be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. Uh, enjoy. Thank you very much. All right, it's, um, I don't know what the time is. About half, uh, nine o'clock, I think nine o'clock. <laughs> Huh. Welcome to Magathia Builder Build World. It's about 9am on Saturday, 22nd of uh, what, April. And this is uh, the setup for Salute 50. The alarm went off this morning at 06.30, which isn't late for some people, but what does the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. I uh, drove up here with my mate Mike and a number of the other guys, and we have set up this so there we go. This is my Burrows and, Burrows and Badgers Benfiot table, which we're going to be playing on today. It's an eight foot by four foot, everything on here made by me, um, with the exception of the Alchemist, which is a 3D printed, rather splendid building. Um, but everything else, as you know, you've seen and watched it, you know I'm manual. We'll be running two games, uh, one on each end of the table, so from that point of view, uh, it's going to be quite good. I'm going to spend some of the day playing games, hanging out with my mates, hopefully chatting with people who watch this channel, meeting you guys, because lots of people said they're going to come and say hello, and I'm going to maybe, possibly, go and walk around the show, although I never actually get a chance to see this show. Um, I'm normally running games, but this year, for the first time, I'm really excited because the Warbands Luna crew are here with me, the guys we've played a campaign with, and everybody's familiar with this game to a point that everybody can run it, which means I can go off and have a look at the show. So they might even, might even get uh, a bit of a Magrathia Builder Worlds review of Salute 50. Who knows, it's gonna be very selective. I'm gonna go and look for other really nice scenery. In fact, I'm gonna go and start doing that now to get an idea of what's about. I'm not gonna spend time looking at loads and loads of gaming stands, you know, the, the trade stands and things. Somebody else will do that. I just wanna go and look at models because that's what I'm all about. Catch you in a bit.
<laughs> well, there is that as well, yes. Yeah. Oh, well. Enjoy the day. Right, okay, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Everybody, this is Mike. Hey. Mike, everybody. Mike is one of my oldest mates, and he always drives me to sleep. It's great. I don't have to cab my eyes open first thing in the morning. Which is just as well, really. It is, isn't it? Yeah, really? absolutely, yeah. Mate. He's also really great at playing games, especially if you need somebody to roll a, a one. one. A roll a one. Um, so he liked the fiddling with fate rules, Michael Lovejoy. No, I Because didn't. he rolls shitloads of ones. <laughs> All over the place. It's really, really great. Although we're not fans of that, really, are we? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're no. not we're going to use that on here. No, we're not. In fact, are we using fate on here at all today? No. No. Okay. No. There you go. Right. So yeah, that's Mike. I'll introduce the rest of the team later on. This is fucking great. What's the game? <laughs> uh, Twilight Chronicles of Anurel. It's under Mike Thorpe. It's really, really cool. There's some other really good stuff over there as well. Um, I'll get some of that as well. I'm not going to embarrass him anymore because didn't know I was going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so more of the same. Really, really nice models. All made on polystyrene cake formers, apparently. Look, he makes nice, big, impractical kind of like scenery like me too. Wherever the hell that gets stored, I don't know. I'm assuming it comes apart in seven pieces. Great job. Really nice model range too. We've got dinosaurs, shit and weirdness. Six. We're going to be too busy to get a chat with Michael Lovejoy later for Oastal Miniatures, the creator of Burrows and Badgers. I'm going to try and grab him, but he's not here yet, because there's his stand over there. All still sealed up, lazy slugger bed. But I thought I would try and just get some of his figures. The new bear that's causing a lot of concern for people. Rather lovely. All the new toys here. Painted by Michael and Joe. Just gorgeous models, a lot of them. I'm kind of envious now. I want to go and throw my paintbrushes away. This is a London War Games Guild. They've made a version of London Bridge, which is quite nice. It's too wide, mind you, but, mm. but probably more playable than if they've done it accurately. Very saucy. Um, count the arches. How many arches? Fourteen. More enough. I'm going. Plus the one. Yeah, he's rather lovely. Man. getting set up here yet at the minute but it looks a bit weird but it does involve chains and an octopus and a coil of rope and some blocks I'm hoping this is going to be some funky ass pirate game later but these guys have still got a little bit of setting up to do really nice modular ruined town bit clean yeah I think rather lovely fuck knows what's going on in the middle there but check this out green kind of warp stone warp stone 
Are you guys playing Mordheim on here? Yeah, yes. this will be Mordheim. Yes. Nice. Warpstone! Warpstone, that's the word. We're at stone. You're welcome to come along and play. Yeah, we're we're I'm going to be running here. games pretty much all day, so I've sneaked out now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, very nice, I'm loving the, the sculpted. We now have 27 tiles. Nice. Oh, uh, at least, yeah. All right, so uh, this is the Lout and Strike Forces Mordheim table. And I'm in love with this top end over here because it's a sculpted terrain. These are the, the guys who made it. Top job, fellas. Yeah, it's mate. really nice. This is going to go on the Magrathy of Builder Worlds video later, so from that point of view, it's like... Lovely, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's really, yeah. really lovely. I like that a lot. <laughs> that building there, built into the side there, is... It's good, isn't it? Uh, it's proper geography, that's what that is. Well, you the back. Really, really cool model. <laughs> Top job. And they have cans of beans and spam and soup. <laughs> Pre digested. These, these guys are hungry fellas. <laughs> these are the prizes. Excellent. Oh, the prizes for playing with the Loud and Strike Force. They've spent their entire budget on making the terrain, so somebody's not getting dinner this evening. <laughs> the budget was a bit higher than the terrain. Excellent, excellent. So this was what was, when it was a case of bring prices with us today, they just got a Tesco delivery. <laughs> Epic. Have a brilliant game, guys. Guys, see you later today. Good Cheers. Job. Thank you. Cheers. It's a lot of plastic. Yeah. Nice 40 k game. An awful lot of money spent on games virtual plastic here. It's almost like me. And here is how to come to salute and have a massive game with fuck all terrain. Looks pretty cool. Clearly dam busters. One big dam. What Lancaster bomber. Cheap as chips. Oh yes. This is a game, a pair of tables I don't need to be filming because this is Moonstone by looks of things. A game I've desperately avoided in the last few years because I would have to sell a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> to buy yet another range of figures and then make a completely different set of terrain because I refuse to play with the terrain I've got for Burrows and Badgers. Fuck, that looks nice. <sighs> Although that looks like uh, some of these tabletop world buildings. Yes. Yeah. Those buildings here. Yeah, yeah. Tabletop world buildings. Awesome. Cheats. Cheating. This fella here definitely cheated because, you know, I mean, they're fucking great though. <sighs> That's not tabletop world though, is it? No, that's uh, homemade. Like the buildings here. Yeah, yeah. So you can get the too. cheap one or the cool one. Up to you. <laughs> cheap one, yeah, yeah, right. Because <laughs> they're really cheap models, aren't I they, never tabletop buy world? Them, so I'm just talking for the one that I like. Uh, right, okay, I haven't said whimsical at all yet in this video. This is totally up in the whimsy. You need whimsy, have a drink. That's right, I'm smashing. Lovely. This is totally out of the realms of what I do because, you know, we know I play little skirmish games. Check this out. Shouldn't you be set up your own bleeding game? I've set up my own bleeding game, haven't <laughs> I? Everybody, so, uh, say so hello to Reese from Minnie's Models and Mayhem and stuff. Oh, I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were taking stills. <laughs> no, man, I'm videoing this. Look, look, this is completely yeah, different yeah, to what we do. I oh, know, it's um, good though, isn't it? And these figures are really cool because, look, they're completely flat. So if you film oh. them from, if you film them from this angle, it looks really very impressive. If you go around this way, they all look like me after the diet. Yeah, no, not exactly. What a very cool game. That's awesome. <laughs> 43 years. I love it. Start to pinch you up. You can even call it. All right. <laughs> this is uh, Drowned Earth, which, uh, we'll just have a quick look at the, some of the table here. That's more of it over there, yeah? From our Mick Games, yeah. So this uh, that's a particular scene where we do Hunt the T-Rex. All right, OK. The T-Rex there. We're going to get um, some of that in a moment. Yeah. So this is a vertical skirmish game. Yes. It's a, a parkour-style game where, basically, these guys are designed to jump from pillar to post, fall. Normally the board is three quarters water, 
So basically the idea is that you're either swimming in water or you're trying to stay out of it yep. on top of the, the terrain. And you can make this terrain as high as you like, as dynamic as you like, nice. and the mechanics will work. I cool. mean, we have a thing, if you wanted to jump, if you wanted to run up here, jump off here while shooting some guy down there and land in the water, you can do it with a dice roll. Sweet, you know? that sounds really, really cool. I'll have to come back and see if this is actually later on. Yeah. Very, 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 and it's a brilliant game because basically everybody dies trying to kill the T-Rex. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just, you sit down, I get four or five people sitting down, we had six at Adapticon sat down, and not one of them survived. Cheeky little two foot by two foot. Ruins and sculpture and stuff. Playable space, just about. Rather lovely. Where are we? Okay, I'm here with Michael Lovejoy, uh, and uh, he's the bloke who colour out road bars and badges, if you don't know. Um, so, Mike, have a brilliant show today. Um, is this going to be mayhem? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, we don't even know what the rules are yet. So <laughs> change it. How many sets along. of rules are you going to change today? We're yeah, going to change yeah. a lot of rules. And just for once, uh, although I am completely intimidated by the, folk, the, the figures in the cases we've seen over there, I'm not that fact about the scenery. Not on this table anyway. <laughs> because look how much effort Mr Lovejoy has made for this. Apparently, flat board, because that's all they could fit in the van, come all the way down from up north. So, uh, Mike, you have a brilliant day. Um, on behalf of all of my guys, thank you, because this game's epic. Have a good one. Although I do want some toys. I'm going over here to see Joe because if I don't buy cannons straight away, all the other fuckers are going to buy them. So. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, we're going to just, sorry, this is, this is Joe, everybody. Hi. Okay, this is, this is the other half of Oath Swan, um, the one who does all the packing and all the sending and yes, stuff. Do, yes. She's the reason why everybody keeps going on about what a good company is and how quickly you get your toys. Uh, so from that point of view, and this is the stand. And now I'm going to go and find some cannons because John over there is going to buy them all otherwise. Okay, I just had this game explained to me. Um, I don't care about anything else today. The quality of this looks fantastic. First of all, wild and wacky figures, including by the looks of it, the KKK, uh, and a bunch of people on an, uh, an elephant. This game, here we go, <laughs> check out. It's a tiny little board. That looks like about two foot by three foot. Um, the lights in here is terrible today. As you can see, Trump built his wall. There it is. There is the wall to Mexico. There is Mr. Trump himself. God bless him and all who sail in him. And this game is about trying to escape from Trump's America back into Mexico, which certainly appeals. Very nice. Great little game. Um, I'm expecting a lot of Larry because it's right next to us. So from that point of view, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> okay, meeting the crew. Everybody say hello to Ted. Hi. Everybody say hello to Aaron. Hello. Aaron's with Mike, uh, and it's kind of like, look, you can see the family difference. Distant colour. Ted isn't mine, but he's kind of like adopted colour. It's his birthday tomorrow. Everybody say happy birthday to Ted tomorrow. He's... Thanks, guys. I can, I can hear you, yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, You're not old enough to hear you film. <laughs> yes. 31 tomorrow. Old! Oh, man. Uh, I talk 10 to when he's 10. <laughs> yeah, now we play... Now he's a bit. And we have sword fights together. I like battle reports. Ted is, Ted is the guy who's in the battle reports with me. I don't think we ever see him. Do we ever see you in the battle reports? No, you no. only by name. Because they're all narrative. So if you've watched <laughs> any of my battle reports, Ted's the other half. He's the one who's responsible. Not, not my other half, obviously. But yeah, we throw rats off roofs together. You know. No actual rats were harmed in the making of any of our um, battle reports. No, I might get you dropped one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it fell off the roof. Okay, one rat, one rat fell off the roof. Of... Anyway, um, uh, yeah, back to it. We'll meet the rest of the team later. Bye. So the lights have gone off above our table. Uh, there's no truth in the rumour that I've done it deliberately just because I've got lighty up LEDs on my bits of scenery. But it does make the, the light on the top of the tower look very pretty. <coughs> and the flickery light in the Red House work too. <laughs> Hang on a moment, hang on, hang on. Say hello, Alex. Hello. That's Alex. That's Harry and Gary. Say hi, Harry and hi, Gary. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and uh, we are actually up and running. Absolute. 50. It's kind of cool. Guys playing games. About to start our first participation game at the other end of the table. Oh, I am a happy chappy. <laughs> oh, this is Gringo Fortis' table. 
which looks suspiciously like the US Embassy in the Vietnam War. I'm guessing that by the helicopters that line up. That is one big, big building. Very nice, though, isn't it? Now you can shuffle that into the deck. Now that you've got three cards. We'll have a 40k represent. Hawks and guards and stuff. Hawks and fuck all terrain, but it's nice. Alright, <laughs> so this is my game Final guys, three. Must be there. It's got midday now, but this is incredible. Yeah. All these people playing my game. Well, it's not my game, it's my game. Alright, so. Salute 2023, Salute 50. We are now packing up. Say good night, campers. Good night, campers. It's been quite an amazing day today. Um, <laughs> I, I've had so many people come and speak to me today about my YouTube channel, making models, and what it means to them. I can't begin to tell you uh, how blown away I am. I feel really quite humbled about the whole thing. So thank you so much for watching my channel. It's quite extraordinary. Um, the response the game's had today and, and my, my day at Salute, uh, it's been just absolutely brilliant. Um, so uh, I'm probably gonna be back here. I might look to go to a couple of other shows this year. Uh, so keep watching the channel, thank you so much. This has been uh, Magathea Build of Worlds. I'll see you next time. So there you go. Um, big show, over eight and a half thousand people at the Excel yesterday. I fact, there were way more people than that at the Excel, but most of them were registering for the London Marathon. I hope they're having a good day today because it's chucking down with rain outside. But uh, there were yeah over eight and a half thousand people come to Slew yesterday. They didn't all get to see my B and B table, um, but that's fine because there were people playing games all day long. I had lots of great games, uh, but most importantly, I met some brilliant, brilliant people. I literally spent all day talking to viewers, you guys, people who watch this channel and follow my Facebook page, um, and I was blown away, just completely blown away by the response the, the table got and the game got and uh, this YouTube channel gets. Um, I didn't start it didn't start videos and making videos for YouTube for for financial reasons to become a, a YouTube star um, and I have no idea mostly what other people's YouTube channels looks like because to be quite honest I don't actually have time to watch many of them so I just do my thing normally in the workshop in the kitchen today to be quite honest because it's wet and horrible and the dogs wanting me around although they're all completely asleep been thinking about the success of this channel um, I mean it's not massive I've only got five and a half thousand subscribers there are gamers and model makers and painters who make loads and loads and loads and loads more they make loads of money and they've got tens of thousands of subscribers um, uh, but I don't do it for that I'm not bothered about the finance thing got a proper job um, and I'm not bothered about it from a, just having numbers of people watching but what I do get is I love the responses from people uh, I think a part of that is because I don't watch many other YouTube channels, so I don't know what you're supposed to do on YouTube. I just do my thing. And I think, I suspect, I could be wrong. Leave comments down below if, if, if you agree with this or not. I suspect one of the reasons why people like to watch my channel is it's not just about models that I make. I've kind of like shared, probably overshared, way too much with you. Like, uh, you know, the renovations of my house last year and, and all the dogs, the pup days. I get people at World Gaming Shows ask me, how's your kitchen? And um, 
how the dogs, they want to know about how the dogs are. So I would, look, we're going to have a quick sneak around because all three of them are asleep right now. Um, and uh, I'll give you a quick pup date. Here we go, check it out. Okay, so over here, sleeping normally with her head in the water bowl, is Ludo. We got Ludo when she was eight weeks old, just before Christmas. It's now April, so what's that? Two months, three months, four months, five. She's about six months old now. Bless her. Six months old and about 30 kilos. Uh, what's that? 30 kilos times 2.2. Um, 65, 66 pounds in old money. Or 14, 28, 56. Four and a half stone-ish. Bless her. She is a gobshite and a bit of a spoiled brat, to be quite honest. But we love her. Uh, walking around the kitchen into the new finished living room. Those of you who were watching last year, this is what the living room now looks like. It's kind of cool. Um, big uh, Chewbacca on the wall there and an alien head over there. and a, Oh, that's the stained glass window of the Cheshire cat there. And where are the other dogs? Oh, and there's Chewy. Chewy, 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 Chewy. Chewy is now... 22 months old he's our big fella bless him fast asleep he's the one normally who should be out in the rain but uh, he's not hassling me right now Chewy weighs 59 kilos uh, in old money that's what uh, 120 132 pounds 132 pounds uh, which is uh, 9 Nine stone, nine, nearly nine and a half stone. And then over here, if Chewy is 22 months old, then Ahsoka is five months younger. She is 17 months old. Nearly a year and a half. She's our big lass. Ahsoka, bless her, <laughs> weighs 71 kilos. Yep, you heard that right, 71 kilos. Um, that's 156 pounds, uh, which is 11 stone two. Bless her. But right now, they're all asleep. So this is your Magathea Builder World's pup date. Say hello, Chucky. Say hi to Krampus. Over and out. Uh, yeah, and then that's Ludo doing her thing. She's so ladylike. Bless her. Um... So I, I, I started this channel just to share what I do, I have fun, uh, and kind of share my joy of, of model making. I kind of think I get that across, it's certainly what people said to me yesterday. Um, I uh, um, started this channel to kind of inspire people, I hope, to make you think that you could go and have a go at doing it. This is more about inspiration rather than aspiration. I watched some things on YouTube when I sat and get to the end of the video, video and I go, God, I can never do that. That's amazing. I haven't got the financial resources to do that. I haven't got the skills to do that, that kind of thing. Um, whereas I hope you watch a lot of my stuff and you go, ah, oh, no, I can have a crack at that. I won't do it the same way Tim does it, but I'm going to have a crack at it. Um, and I met loads and loads of people like that yesterday. It was fantastic. In fact, it got a bit tough. There were people queuing to meet me, for God's sake. And then people wanted selfies with me. That was kind of a bit weird. Um, but because <laughs> only because I wasn't expecting to do it. Quite happy to have photographs taken with people. I had an awesome day because so many people said to me nice things about what I do. Um, I have a bit of a... Uh, an ego, really, you know, you have to have, I think, to do this kind of thing, and, and I've never been accused of being shy of coming forward. So it's nice when people tell you you're doing a really great job. I've got to say, there have been two or three people who have messaged me or spoke to me on a day saying, I was robbed because I didn't win the best table. I didn't go to Salute to win uh, prizes. I've won prizes there before, blimey, in the early 2000s when it was first at Excel, we won best game, best participation game, uh, the runner up, best in show, best scenery, all kinds of stuff. And don't get me wrong, if I'd won awards, I would have been dead happy that I would have been making a video with a little award today. But I didn't go for that. I went to take a game out and show people how much Paris and Badges can be great fun to play. Um, and the guys in my group did that, and I just got to talk to people about what I do. And um, yeah, there are loads of you who absolutely love what I do, so thank you very much for watching. From the guys who have been watching uh, right from the get-go and have been following me from really early on, like Simon and Jim Bob, and, uh, and then others who, like Nick, 
who was great to talk to, who came and asked me if I was going to reimburse him for the 200 quid he'd blown on toys yesterday, who's never painted a wargaming figure until he came across my videos and then he's now fully in on the Judge Dredd thing and he might have gone and bought a load of B&B stuff too. So um, from old viewers and new viewers, thank you very much. And then on top of that, I also started to get personal stories and I felt really humbled. I asked a little while ago when people watch my videos and it's quite clear that um, watching these videos is, is it's like having a mate. I made I met lots of friends yesterday, lots of mates yesterday I'd never met before, which is kind of cool because I'm going to hang out wherever you do your hobby and chat to you while you're doing your hobby. Your hobby is really cool. And then I never realised when I started doing this that it would have an impact on another level, which is um, helping people in their life. You know, watching Magathir Builder Worlds videos, so apparently according to some people, is a way of chilling, relaxing, escaping from their, the complex nature of their lives, uh, helping with their mental health. So from that point of view, I felt really humble yesterday talking to people. So thank you. Thank you for watching this channel. Um, thank you for your continued support. The patrons I met yesterday, thank you very much yet again. If you're interested in being one of my patrons, then um, I really need to pull my finger out and get on with the latest Patreon build. That's the next video coming. Uh, but check it out. At patreon.com slash world but that isn't really why I do this I do this just to make models and share them with you guys um, so thank you for that opportunity and thank you for continuing to support this channel I had an absolute blast um, don't know what show we're going to go to next definitely be at Salute next year very tempted to take a game to Selwig in the autumn uh, but we'll have to see how we go what I really need to do is get on with making some models I've got so many to make now it's ridiculous um one of the guys, Simon, turned up yesterday and <laughs> brought me Shaw Troopers that he's painted for me because he said he would. How awesome is that? Definitely got to make Star Wars figures. Um, I've got a B&B &B Patreon build to uh, sort out, which is a bank, Northern Rock is called. Um, that's got to come next. I've got Star Wars to make. I've got Judge Dread figures being painted now, so I'm definitely going to be making Judge Dread. I definitely, definitely, yesterday, definitely did not buy the rules for uh, Moonstone, a extraordinarily whimsical looking game. Have a drink, guys. Uh, the, the level of whimsy in this game is, just looks absolutely mental. Um, a different kind of way to, uh, to B&B, &B, but you know me, it's gonna be a little while before we get all the guys in my group playing Moonstone, because this is gonna need new scenery. Different scenery, not B&B &B scenery, something even a bit more out there. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Barrows and Badgers, I always thought, has got plenty of whimsy. The whimsical level of, of Barrows and Badgers is, is kind of like out there, but uh, you never know. If I could sit down and read through all this stuff and kind of like really, really get into it, there might be Moonstone kind of like scenery to come to. So, um, there's plenty of projects to get on with this year. There's not enough time in my life what with uh, work and hobby and uh, dogs and everything else uh, to do it all. But thank you for your patience and thank you for watching my channel. Um, this has been Magathea Build the World at Salute 2023. The next time you see me, hopefully I'll be making a model again. Thanks for watching. See you again. <laughs>